Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be decorating my dining room for Christmas. So I always like to start it off by lighting a candle. So this is the Perfect Christmas from Bath & Body Works. It is really a beautiful Christmassy scent. And then I like to put on something in the background. So I am currently watching Elf. <laughs> you cannot uh, start Christmas off without watching Elf. And I'm gonna show you guys just kind of like the overview of the dining room, what I have up from fall. And I even still had my Halloween decorations up. I know, very late. Um, but the first thing we're gonna do is actually put the tree together. So I just bought this one this year. It's a brand new one. And this is a six foot pre-lit flocked tree. So I am putting it together outside so the flocking doesn't get everywhere. But um, I'm just kind of fluffing it outside and then we'll bring that in and start decorating the tree. So for the tree in the dining room, I was going for a red and white candy cane theme. So the first thing I'm putting on the tree is actually a garland with bells on it from Hobby Lobby. I just really loved this one and my mom is obsessed with bells this year for Christmas decor, so we wanted to include those on the tree. And also, I do wanna say, I have a Christmas haul up on my channel. I'll link it up above, um, hauling all of this stuff. So if you wanna know where anything is from, it'll be in that video, but you can also comment down below and I'll try to reply to all of your questions. So I am back on another day with the bow topper for the tree because I actually had to go out and buy this from Marshalls, but this is the final little pencil tree in our dining room and I just love how it turned out. So now we're going to move on to the hutch and I just kind of put all of the fall stuff away and kept out the, you know, regular decor that I wanted to keep up there. I'm just dusting off the shelves a little bit and then I'm going to try and decorate. It took me forever to figure out what I want what I wanted to do with the hutch. I was having a really hard time, so you'll see me move stuff around quite a bit and the finished product is a lot different than uh, what was on the screen and that's just because I like to go back and forth kind of set things up there see how they look step back and come back to it so this took me maybe the entirety of the elf movie <laughs> while I did this so decorating for me is just a process and I love doing it so I never want to rush um, anything because I won't love how the final product looks so that is everything. Here is the finalized hutch. Um, I really love how it came out. I got the ribbon for those beautiful red and white striped bows at Joann's and made them into bows myself. And I love how they came out. I decorated all my Ray Dunn canisters with them.
So here I am working on the last piece of furniture for the living room and this is our kind of miniature hutch in the corner. I really wanted, um, basically this is the last space for all of my Christmas decor, um, for all of my Ray Dunn and everything that I collect. So this was kind of the last um, stop to getting all my Christmas decorations done. So. I pretty much used everything that I had left in this little hutch. So it was actually pretty hard for me to um, decorate it using so many different items. Um, but you'll see I moved stuff around so much. Um, but in the end, I think this actually turned out to be my favorite spot in the dining room. Also wanted to show you guys we got a brand new dining room table it is actually a vintage 1800s handmade dining room table and this is the final look at the decorated dining room space so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video I hope it made you cozy ready for Christmas I know that I am and I just want to wish you guys a very happy holiday season and I'll see you in the next video bye